Hi everyone, welcome to day three of the show must go on. Today we're going to be looking at verse two, we're going to be looking at the bass line and we're also going to be looking at the chords as well. But before we get started, click on the link in the description to get your guitar bang in tune. So if you've mastered the bass line for verse one, then you're way ahead of the game. Basically, verse two is the same as verse one, but everything's moved up two frets. So if you were playing fret two, you're now playing fret four. If you were playing fret three, you're now playing fret five. Let's have a look and break down the first line. We start on the and string on fret number four, and we play that eight times. We then move to the elephant string and we go to fret five and we play that another eight times. And that's line one of verse two. So let's have a practice sticking those two together. Remember it's eight fret fours on the and string and then we move up to the elephant string eight times on fret number five. As always, if you're struggling to play eight of each, you can always start with just one of each and then maybe build it up to two, up to four, maybe six, and then finally to eight. Let's stick those two notes together now. Well done, you can pause the video here and practice line one. So moving on to line two, you're absolutely flying through this today. We start with fret number two on the elephant string and we play it four times. We then stay on the elephant string and move up to fret four and we play that four times as well. And then we go back to fret two, staying on the elephant string for another four picks on fret two. Well done, let's try sticking all of line two together. So that's four fret twos, four fret fours, and then back to four fret twos, all on this top elephant string. Well done guys, you can pause the video here and practice line two. Let's have a go at sticking line one and line two together. So it starts on fret four on the and string, we then go to fret five on the elephant string, down to fret two on the elephant string, fret four on the elephant string, and then finally fret two on the elephant string. Let's have a go at that now. And that's it. You can pause the video here and practice the bass line to verse two. Now we're gonna look at the chords for verse two. If you've struggled with the chords for verse one, then I would say stick to the bass line and get that sounding really great. But for those of you that have done verse one chords, let's have a look at verse two. The first chord is called C sharp minor. It's the same as B minor that we did in the first verse, but we just move everything up two frets. Let's break it down. So it starts with our first finger on the elephant string fret four. We then take our second finger and put it on the big string, the one above on fret number five. And then we take our third finger and put it on the grow string in fret six. So you've got this kind of stairs effect happening, yeah? And for this chord, we're just gonna strum the bottom three strings and it sounds like this. You can pause the video here, shake your hands off and see if you can find the C sharp minor chord. The second chord is A major and we use the same three fingers, finger one, finger two and finger three. We take our first finger, put it on the donkey string, fret two. Our second finger underneath on the grow string, also fret two. And our third finger on the big string, you guessed it, also in fret two. So they're kind of like bunk beds all stacked on top of each other. For this chord, we are strumming from the and string, that's the second one down, all the way down. And it sounds like this. You can pause the video here and practice A major. For the first two chords, C sharp minor and A major, we strum them eight times. Let's have a go at doing that now. 
Remember, if you're struggling to change between those chords, you don't have to strum eight times. You can do six or four or two or even one. It doesn't matter. You can pause the video here and practice strumming C sharp minor and A major eight times each. The third chord in the show must go on in verse two is F sharp minor. Now, if you remember A major, where we had finger one, two, and three all stacked on top of each other in fret two, F sharp minor is the same as that, but we move everything down one string. So we've got finger one, finger two, finger three, all in fret two, but they are on the grow, big, and ear string. So we've literally lifted them off and put them down one more string. And for this chord, we just strum the bottom three strings and we're going to do it four times. The fourth and final chord is G sharp major. This chord is the same as F sharp major that we did in verse one, but we just move everything up two frets. But let's break it down just to be clear. We start with finger two and we put it on the ear string on fret number four. We then put finger one on the big string, also fret four, and then we put our third finger on the good string in fret number five. And for this chord as well, we just strum the bottom three strings. You can pause the video here and practice your F sharp minors and your G sharp majors. Let's try putting those chords together. So in the song we play F sharp minor, G sharp major and then back to F sharp minor and we do four strums on each chord. We start with F sharp minor, move it up to G sharp major and then we move it back down to F sharp minor. You can pause the video here and practice sticking your F sharp minor to G sharp major and then back to F sharp minor. The time has come to stick all of those chords together in verse two. We've got C sharp minor for eight, A major for eight. We've then got F sharp minor for four, G sharp major for four, and then F sharp minor for four. Let's stick them all together. So starting on C sharp minor for eight. Major for eight. F sharp minor for four. Up to G sharp major for four. And then finally down to F sharp minor for four. Well done, some of those chords are really tricky, but you've worked really hard. Remember, give your hands a bit of a rest, shake off your rock star lines, and keep practicing hard, and we'll see you in the next video.